The tsunami washed mountains of debris into the Pacific Ocean. Officials with Japan's Environment Ministry say tons will start washing ashore in North America next month. The officials used the computer simulation to figure out how quickly the wreckage is moving. They think more than 100,000 tons will reach the North American coastline by June and more than 200,000 tons by October. The officials think the tsunami swept 1.5 million tons of wreckage into the ocean. Some of that wreckage has washed up on coastlines in North America and Hawaii. Japanese leaders have given $6 million to U.S. and Canadian officials to help them deal with it. They say they'll hand over the results of their computer simulation to help communities deal with more. Crews in northeastern Japan have passed something of a milestone as they work to clean up the mess made by the March 2011 disaster. Workers in the three hardest hit prefectures have disposed of just over half the debris generated by the earthquake and tsunami. Government estimates two years ago suggested 16.3 million tons of debris were scattered across Iwate, Miyagi and Fukushima prefectures. That didn't include sediment that washed ashore. Environment Minister officials say crews disposed of about 8.4 million tons of waste by the end of February. They've set the end of March 2014 as the deadline to finish the job. But they believe it will be difficult to complete the disposal on schedule in Fukushima, the location of Japan's damaged nuclear plant. Progress is slower there because some debris is contaminated by radiation released when reactors at the facility melted down. Workers in a port in southwestern Japan have taken precautions against potential threats out on the water. They've installed a new type of seawall to protect against tsunami. It's designed to prevent fishing boats and other large debris from being washed ashore. About 500 fishing boats dock at this port in the city of Susaki. Workers erected a seawall more than 100 meters long and more than 2 meters high. They fixed poles on top. Cables strung between the poles can hold back debris weighing up to five tons. I hope this seawall will trap debris and minimize damage so we can revive our communities faster in the event of a tsunami. City officials say their seawall is probably the first of its kind in Japan.